Imagine you're teaching a high school ethics class and you discover one morning that a pertinent story is featured on an online news site. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you could work that article into your lesson plan for the day? Doing so would certainly give students a real-life scenario pertaining to the issues being discussed in class. By integrating technology into the classroom, this can easily be done. One way to go about it would be to print the story out and distribute it to students. Or if you already have class handouts that were created with a word processor application, you could augment those documents by copying and pasting the article into them, provided you properly cite your sources, of course. The beefed up handouts could then be printed and handed out in class. An even better option would be to have students view the actual article on the website. This requires that the class be set up with at least one computer and with an internet connection. In a class with only one computer, you could display the article in the actual website using a computer projector. Or if the class is equipped with several computers, you could divide students into groups and have them follow along at designated computers. If you're fortunate enough to have laptops for all students, each student could browse to the site to locate the article themselves when instructed to do so. Whichever way is feasible, there's no doubt incorporating technology into the learning environment can prove beneficial. We've just investigated one scenario in which computers and other technology can help teachers instruct and students learn. We'll examine several other examples, but before we do, take a moment to imagine your own possibilities. Use the lines provided to record your ideas, pressing Tab to move to a new line. When you've brainstormed all you can, you can click Next to continue. Now let's look at other ways of integrating technology. Because there are several different slants to what is meant by integrating technology in the classroom, we'll examine our examples according to the varying approaches. One approach is to teach a lesson without using technology and then assign technology-related activities to help reinforce the lesson. For example, you could go over a reading assignment and then use a content authoring tool and class input to create a lesson discussing the story. It's a good way to get students involved in the discussion and would be a nice change from requiring a written synopsis from each student. In an English class, you could introduce Venn diagrams and students could then use Microsoft Paint Corel Draw, or even Microsoft Word to create Venn diagrams that show relationships between characters in a book. For a social studies class, you could study pilgrims and later have students take an online test that you've created about the pilgrims' impact on America. Another way to use technology in the classroom is to use it as you are teaching. Specifically, this involves ways you can work technology into your lectures, allowing you different delivery methods while keeping students engaged in otherwise potentially monotonous material. Within this context, you could teach a science class on clouds, and as you lecture, students could search for different cloud types on the Internet. Or, in an elementary class, students could search the Internet for things beginning with each letter of the alphabet. Then, as a group, 
the class could use a content authoring tool to create a web-delivered lesson that showcases some of the different things found. If you're using an LMS with chat room capabilities, you can set up live online discussions with students from other places to discuss different cultures and customs. A discussion board can also be set up. For example, you could post a question regarding the United Nations and require students to keep the discussion going by sharing their thoughts on the topic at any time. Furthermore, to assist students with disabilities, you could implement special needs software, such as text enlargement programs, speech synthesis tools, adaptive keyboards, or talking calculators. Although we've offered many different examples of how technology integrated into the classroom can aid both students and teachers, we could offer many more. Do any of the scenarios listed here seem like they could be examples too? Make your guesses and then check your answers using the button provided. Then, once you're ready to, you can click Next to move on. The previous examples of integrating technology were specific to the classroom. Our last approach is a broader one. It takes a general look at how technology can be integrated within the school system as a whole, not just within a class, thereby benefiting the entire school. For instance, with a network system in place and a mail server, administration, teachers, other staff, and parents could maintain communication conveniently through email. Also, different databases could be maintained to keep track of various things, such as students, administration, staff, teachers, substitute teachers, library materials, school supplies, and items for the lunch program. The school could also create a school website. Individual web pages could cover school policies and rules, holiday schedules, special notices, guest speakers, PTA schedules, extracurricular activities, and lunch menus, among other topics of interest. Also, any interested teachers could develop their own pages, where they could list class syllabi, lessons, or perhaps even feature student work. To sum up, working technology into the school environment, both within and outside the classroom, helps everyone involved. The interactivity engages students, helping them retain more. Teachers are aided in planning and presenting. Communication is enhanced school-wide. And even parents can stay on top of their children's progress, as well as current events at the school. Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom, either as a teaching tool or an administrative aid.